Good morning. It's Monday, February 24th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Holy Ground, and our scripture is Acts chapter 7. Forty years later, in the desert near Mount Sinai, an angel appeared to Moses in the flame of a burning bush. When Moses saw it, he was amazed at the sight. As he went to take a closer look, the voice of the Lord called out to him, I am the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Moses shook with terror and did not dare to look. Then the Lord said to him, Take off your sandals, for you are standing on holy ground. I have certainly seen the oppression of my people in Egypt. I have heard their groans and have come down to rescue them. Now go, for I am sending you back to Egypt. Forty years later. That sounds about right. When a story picks up in the middle, some background perspective ought not be ignored. Otherwise, you can miss the point. Forty years earlier, Moses had escaped Egypt with his pin feathers on fire. Although his motive had been godly and well-intentioned, he'd overstepped his authority and was guilty of murder. Banished from the place he'd grown up, Moses wandered into Midian and became a nobody instead of the important somebody he'd been. Moses was 40 when he left Egypt as a convicted felon. He crossed the desert fighting snakes and scorpions all the way until he arrived at Midian and became a sheep herder just to earn a living. For the 40 years of today's text, Moses had become a husband, father, and trusted shepherd in the back country of nowhere. When you're young and full of dreams, ready to change the world, the dreams sometimes take a detour. That doesn't mean God is done with you. It means the dreams you thought were plans were only the beginning of what God's been up to in your development. Moses wanted to see his people, the Israelites he'd only recently discovered were his people. He wanted to see them experience the freedom their God-given heritage promised. He wanted to see injustice and hatred cease. He wanted the bondage gone. But by the time the next 40 years went by, far from Egypt's epicenter of world events, Moses figured his day had come and gone. Cue the burning bush, catching the eye of the adopted son of Pharaoh, who was demoted to lowly shepherd, who's wondering if he's going crazy in the noonday heat. When does a bush burn and never run out of branches to fuel the fire? I can imagine Moses had built quite a comfortable life for himself, and now, at 80, he's thinking retirement and letting the kids take over the flocks. But what was he really thinking, deep down on the inside of his soul, when that voice spoke his name, telling him to slip off his sandals and get ready for the dream, the reality of setting the people free? We know he offers some excuses. I'm too old. I don't talk so well. They wouldn't listen, and probably more. But what was he really thinking on the inside? Doubt? Fear? Too tired? Hey, I tried this once before. Look what it got me. I I can't do this anymore. Sound familiar? I believe we humans too often get gun-shy when it comes to stepping out particularly with age and the diminishing strength and stamina we feel. On top of that, physical reality looms the culture in which we live, extolling everything about being young, looking young, and how old is something to be avoided. The message is that young is where it's at, and old is done. But is it really? Over the next 40 years, Moses became the mightiest leader the world has ever known. And then, according to Deuteronomy chapter 34, Moses was 120 years old when he died, yet his eyesight was clear and he was as strong as ever. For you today, Moses has been described as someone who had been a somebody but had to learn how to be a nobody before he was ready for the dream. Where are you in that process? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.